hello foodies welcome to my kitchen um today i wanted us to prepare some dag omena or in kiswahili daga or sardines in english and yeah it's a very simple recipe all you're going to need is the dagas um, capsicum coriander garlic onions tomatoes um this is frozen ginger and turmeric some tomato paste and fermented milk or mazwalala and that's all we are going to need so let's get prepping so the first thing we're going to do is to wash the omena and how we do that is with very hot water like boiling water and i'm going to leave them there for like a few minutes to just to just soak up in the water for like a few minutes and then i'll be prepping the other ingredients um so i have prepped everything i didn't want to bore you because i know every one of you knows how to prep these things um here i have crushed the, a mixture of the turmeric ginger and garlic and a bit of black pepper and <clears throat> the coriander i divided it i divided it into stems and the leaves the leaves are used for garnishing and and the stems are used for cooking so let's go wash the sardines um so we're ready to start cooking and in a pot you're going to add some oil and you're going to let that oil heat up so the oil goes hot, we're going to add our onions. So we are going to cook the onions until they are golden brown. this point you want to add your garlic mixture the coriander stems This is also the point where we add our, our spices, curry powder, paprika, a bit of the chili flakes. Smells amazing. Then we add our grated tomatoes. So we're going to cover it and let it cook for a while. So after the tomatoes are cooked, the 
going to add a tomato paste. And the coriander. Um, I mean the capsicum. Then you're going to cover it and just give it a minute for the for the tomato paste to cook. So after a minute, your tomato paste should be cooked, and then you're going to add your sardines. This is the point where you want to salt it. And then add the fermented milk. Make sure you test it at this point to make sure the spices are as you like them. If not, adjust them. And then we are going to cover it. And on a low flame, we are going to let it cook. So when it gets to this point, then you know it's ready. The oil has separated well. So you want to garnish it. and switch the flame off so right now it's ready um, we are going to be having it with ugali and some skooma wiki so i'll see you back after i've plated everything Um, so here's the whole meal and of course some tea on the side.
as a typical Kenyan no, Kenyan no meal is quite complete without some tea. So here it is, and this is how we're going to start to have it. And okay, let's give it a taste. Mm. You have to try this. It's delicious and <clears throat> yeah, it takes you back to the lake. <laughs> so bye and please make sure you subscribe, leave a comment and tell me if you have tried it or not. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.